morning. Good morning, Facebook. <clears throat> I wanted to get on this live to talk about <clears throat> homeschooling. I had a lot of messages about homeschooling last night, so I decided to do a live to kind of help some parents that may have been thinking about homeschooling. And um, I'm going to give you just some insight from research and also I'm actually homeschooling my son right now. So this is not something that I'm just trying to get on and tell people like I'm actually going through it right now. And there's several other parents that homeschool, but I wanted to get on here because there's some parents that have been thinking about it. And this whole situation has triggered um, some parents to think about it even more um, now that the school year has kind of ended. So what I'm going to do is go over it as, as much as I can. <clears throat> and if you have any questions, you can put them in the is make sure that you are wanting to go in this direction. This is for homeschool parents. If they're thinking about homeschooling, this is not for people that are trying to debate that public school is better. I had a lot of a comment just a couple moments ago where someone was like, you know, that's not homeschool teachers should be, um, they should have degrees. This is not a debate. This is for parents that are looking for insight on homeschooling. So I wanna get that out the way, um, but be sure about your decision because there are things that you have to do um, in order to take your children out of school. Um, there's a lot of paperwork that entails um, before you properly start them off. So what you wanna do first um, in your state, you wanna make sure you go to the, the school website go to the school website, um, the district's website, and you type in homeschool. Now, it should give you like some information on what that entails in your specific school district because homeschooling is not across the board. It depends on what state you live in, and it also depends on what district you're in. They have different protocols, different things. So um, in my particular community, um, I have to, I had to do a letter of intent. What that is, is stating that you are making the decision to take your child either out of school or you're not starting them in public school. In my case, I was writing it to say I was not starting my son in the school um, system. So what you want to do look up online a structure like you don't have to have it really long mine's was like a couple lines and it just got straight to the point and it was a letter of intent so that is notifying your school district that you are homeschooling now if you're taking your children out you want to make sure that you um, are prepared because my situation is different because I never put my son in school, in public school at all. So I already was doing the prepping. I was already going over curriculums. I was already doing all those things. What you don't want to do as a parent is take your child out and then you don't know what they're going to be learning. So in each state, it doesn't matter what state, the curriculums have to be accredited by the state. Now that's a, an across the board you know, thing for homeschooling. Your state has to approve um, what you are teaching your child. You're not, it's get rid of the stigma of parents is just doing anything and, you know, the kids are just, you know, watching TV or whatever. No, you actually have to have a certain amount of hours that they are learning and you also have to be in communication with that district about what curriculum they are learning from. Now, I have to send a quarterly um, report, but let me slow down. So, curriculum. How do you choose your curriculum? Well, 
curriculum is based upon what grade your child in, is in and also the unique thing about homeschooling is that you can pick according to what your um, child likes to learn so for instance my child he likes to learn um he's a math and science person um he likes things like weather he likes um a lot of science stuff um so what we have done i um my mom is a retired teacher if you know someone as a parent if you know someone that is either in your family that's a teacher or has been a teacher for that specific grade contact them because the biggest um you know thing or or in conversations i've seen that parents worry about is that they are worried about buying the curriculum there are curriculums that are twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars and parents get so um upset or they get nervous you know because they don't want to spend the money or they don't have the money um in my particular case we made the curriculum ourselves um so we built it upon what legend was interested in and what um what core concepts that he needed to learn in his specific grade so he is literally learning everything that he needs but it's structured to what he likes what he gravitates towards so right now he's gravitating towards science a lot um and math a lot so we had to structure his curriculum to make it so that he doesn't feel like he's learning everything else but he's still learning so for instance the words that he um learn how to spell it all it's all weather related um it's all science related um he's into like animals so it's those things we use um to propel him into the education that he needs homeschool kids are not at home on vacation um so as a parent um don't have this mindset of thinking that they're not going to be taught anything they actually are but again find someone you might have a friend or you might have a family member that um is a teacher already in your specific area um or even if they're not in your area still discuss it with them because um i didn't pay for a curriculum we just made it and then the state approved it um the state approved our curriculum and i didn't spend any money but it is a lot of time that you have to put in once you, you know, start a curriculum from scratch. It's a lot of time. So prep beforehand if you've never homeschooled before because it's a lot of work that goes into the prepping. Once you have it prepped, that makes it so much smoother. Like it, it the transition is not that difficult because you have your curriculum prepped already. Um, you have what they're going to learn already. You have the guidelines of what the state is telling you that you need. Um, as far as support when you are homeschooling, there's tons of groups on Facebook that um, are in specific regions that you can look up and you can go in there and you can ask any question. Um, I'm in like three groups myself. And um, there's also in your local area, there's also co-ops which is students getting together to do certain classes. There's, you don't have to always be at home by yourself. Um, if you are a, a parent that can afford going outside of the home to meet with individuals that are in the same grade and learning the same thing, you can go to co-op groups. Um, they mainly hold co-op groups for like art, um, and some of the common, you know, the common core classes um, as the children get older, but you're not alone when you homeschool. There's so many support systems. There's like, um, like I said, the Facebook groups, there's websites. Um, look in your local region. Nine times out of 10, you're going to find things uh, and people and places that you can go to to ask, what am I doing? Um, because when you think about it, like, I look back at 
me deciding to homeschool and that was not my plan i didn't matter of fact like i was against it legend's dad was actually for it from jump i was not i was like i'm putting him in public school because i don't have the time but as time went on and my life shifted i was able to homeschool and um provide that education at home so i just dived in i didn't overthink it i was just like mom she's a retired teacher can you help me with a curriculum because i don't see a curriculum that i want necessarily for him so we came up with it and the state approved it um they do regulate us quarterly so we have to send in a report the people that are saying that you, if you homeschool your kids, you should need a you need a degree or you're not qualified. That's a lie because we have to conversate with the state. We can't just do what we want. He has to have a certain amount of hours for us to go on to the next quarter or I will get regulated and we have to have it in on time. So we're not just out here floating and, and teaching what we want. Like we actually have curriculums, a structure, and all those things that we have to go by in, in any state. So um, my biggest advice to parents that are thinking about homeschooling, please don't listen to everyone. Like don't listen to everyone. There's people that will help you that know about homeschool. There's also people that don't know nothing about homeschool and they have this mindset about homeschool and they will try to deter you from actually homeschooling your kids. That's what I had. I had some of both. And once I did the research myself, I recognized the prepping for homeschool is more important um, in the beginning part and then that makes everything else flow. Because if you don't prep what your children is going to, they're going to learn, you know, how they're going to um, have social aspect, how they're going to do certain things, you're going to be trying to catch up all the time. So my biggest advice from my experience, please prep. Like preparation is key. Um, also, if your child is not a homeschool kid, if they don't want to be at home, they don't like they're not thriving, pay attention to that because they might be do better in public school. This is not allowed to push, you know, any parent to homeschooling, but I did have a lot of messages last night and I just wanted to get on and give any information that I could give because I know that parents we have we have we have some times where we're like, I don't want to be a parent. <laughs> and right now, there's a lot of people just like, you know, uh, they need help. They want the information. Um, they want to know what homeschooling is about. So, um, again, find an educator that you know and pick their brain if they allow it and let them know, I'm thinking about taking my child out of school um, public school, can you help me with the curriculum? I would go that route first because you will save yourself a ton of money um, before you go on those commercialized sites and start trying to buy a thick curriculum that, um, you know, is, is, is yeah, it, everyone says it's great on the website, but you can actually make your own according to the child that you're teaching. Because you know what, that benefits them more. When you intentionally put in things in the curriculum that they like to do, um, like I said, my son loves um, weather related things, science related things. So what we had to do was pivot and teach him with that as the foundation. So if you need help with curriculums, you can inbox me. My mom actually made mine. Um, but what I did is I came to her and I said, hey, this is not working the way that we're doing it. So can we like intertwine, you know, certain elements of what I'm seeing him being interested in? Um, and every child is different. So if you have questions, parents, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, you're thinking about it too, Tam? Yeah, Tammy, you can ask me any questions. I know a little bit about Virginia um, just because I had some people that um, uh, that had kids before me that homeschooled. 
but New York State is really strict. Um, other states are not as strict as New York. There's like certain states that are strict in the homeschooling industry where it's New York. I think um, California is one of them. Um, all the northern states are a little bit more strict than southern states. But the curriculum is going to be the most important part. Um, there's everything else after that will flow, but the curriculum, my mom made mine. She's the best. Like she knows children through and through. That's her gifting. So I'm putting her out there. She don't know, but, um, she made mine and legend. I, I think I posted the other day, like how he's writing, like he didn't, I mean, I'm not saying this cause I'm his parent, but legend is literally like learning at god speed like because we changed the curriculum according to who he was and he is not um it's not to say that he wouldn't thrive in public school but as a parent when you do homeschool there are ways to have the social aspect you can take him into groups that are also homeschooling parents meet all the time um there's a network um on social media platforms there's so much that we have now that um you know you don't really have to feel like you're alone uh so i just wanted to address this because Again, this is for parents thinking about homeschooling. This is not pushing everyone to go into homeschooling because for some reason, people read stuff all the time wrong. Um, but I am going to start speaking about it because I, it's done me wonders, homeschooling legend um, for now. And it might not be forever. He might go to public school in third grade. I don't know. But until then, I know what has worked. And I know um, to some extent of how important it is for them to have these core foundations before they're just released to the world. Because as a parent, homeschooling, I feel like I have a little bit more control in what my son partakes in. Like if he's sitting in a classroom, I can't necessarily um, control that environment to the point where you know, he's public school. They, they do a lot sometimes. And sometimes our kids don't articulate that when they get home. So as far as the classroom setting, I have more control over what's being poured into my child. And that's what I love about homeschooling. It's not for everyone. It's not for every child. But if you are thinking about it, at least try um and see how it goes and then if you want to put them back into school the process is not that hard you just send another letter and you say we're putting them back into the school district um but yeah you want to have your letter of intent once you find um the information on your school district site you go to search you type in homeschool they're probably going to pop up with a whole bunch of links but you'll probably have to gather information. I would actually call the school directly and say what is in order for homeschool. Like I would call because they have people on site to talk about that. They're not going to, they're not going to, um, it's not going to be a bad thing if you ask about homeschool. Just say, I need information on how homeschooling works in my district. And they will point you either to a website or someone will talk to you. Um, I've had a good experience with my district. And again, I, I'm always in constant communication with them. This is not something where me and Legend are just out here uh, just you know, blowing by the wind. No, he's in, he's going to second grade and he has to have all these requirements um, and hours in order for him to pass on to another grade. So um, parents, if you have any questions, grandparents, if you have any questions, caretakers, if you have any questions, my inbox is always open. Um, but again, this is for people thinking about homeschooling. This is not to push an agenda that everyone should homeschool. I'm not one of those people. Unfortunately, people take things the way that they would like to, but I'm telling you, 
it it's done wonders for me it's done wonders for me and um we still want to lift up the public school setting um being in public school is not a bad thing um so we don't want to condemn you know the parents that put their kids in public school that's what works for them um i don't think public school is a bad thing but uh if you are thinking about homeschooling make sure that you prepare properly all right so i will be back on here later and i will talk to you soon talk to you later bye